Hola folks, for I am the one, the only, I am Hijo del Hobo El Vagabundo, dos, and I am here because we have a whole weekend full of wrestling, lucha, ole, 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 lucha, 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 oh wait a second, hit my, vamos a See, see, see. I am the one, the only. I am Io del Hobo El Vagabundo Dos, and I'm here to talk about some predictions, some good guesses about Impact Wrestling. And we're gonna see. We're gonna have a battle of the toms for again Io del Hobo El Vagabundo Dos. I am superior wrestling knowledge. Even compared to Senior Hobo Tom himself. So let's see here. Let's talk about the first show on Saturday. Impact Under Siege. Indeed. Let's see. Let's try and start off with the undercard a little bit. Probably the first match. A relative good guess. We're going to have my Princess Sora. Kimberly. And Suzanne. Yeah, Suzanne. Taking on Taylor Wilde and Tineal Dashwood. <laughs> yeah, those two aren't going to last long. They're just some thrown together team. Princess Kimberly and Suzanne is going to win that match. Eh. That should be a good match. I'll get to the stuff later. Then we'll have Brian Myers versus El versus Black Toro. Even though Black Toro is from Triple A, you know what? Black Toro is going to win very easily over Brian Myers. I don't care because I'll be taking my snooze during this match. Then let's see here. It's another good undercard match. Yeah. W. Morrissey taking on Willie Mack. You know what? There's only one person winning this match. Mainly because he just showed up. In fact, this is my rare undercard stone cold lock. W. Morrissey has to win. And then, let's, see, let's get into some titles now. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely going to be the second to last. Let's see, let's have the Women's Tag Team Champion. Although they do some odd placement with these matches. We have Jordan Grace and Rachel Ellering take, taking on Flyer, Fire and Flava, which is Kiera Hogan and Tasha Seals. They just got those belts. I do not see Impact Wrestling hot potatoing those belts because they still have a show in June. Maybe Slammiversary they drop those belts. Jordan Grace and Rachel Ellering retain their t women, their knockouts tag team belts. Wow, I'm going to have a lot of work to do to make this card. This is a lot of work, folks. Let's see here. And then, oh, wait a second. There's only one way. That this person can ever be introduced for it's because of all the work he's done across so many different wrestling federations from even across the seas for he is the one he is the only he is the man for some reason right now has a loaded boot Let's see here let me cue Yes, the one, the only, El Fantasmo, taking on Josh Alexander. So you know what? For this match, there's only one person. There's only uno person who can win.
El Fantasmo. There we go. Let's go back to some normal volume and get things ready. So El Fantasmo is going to win that match. He's going to be the new X Division champion. Then, let's see here. We'll have Diana Parazzo versus Jessica Havoc. I think this this feels about right for the time for for Diana Prato to lose that belt and cause a little bit of dissension with her own little faction. So I think you know what? Jessica Havoc deserves to hold that belt. Jessica Havoc's gonna win. And then Probably in the co-main event. Wait a second. Wait for it. Wait for wait 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 wait. Yes, we're gonna have three people who are too sweet for life. We're going to have the Bullet Club, Kenny Omega, the Machine Gunner, Carl Anderson, Doc Gallows. And they are going to be taking on the team of Eddie Edwards and Finn Juice. You know what, folks? Let's be real about this. There's only one team that could possibly win. And we know. Because they're too sweet for life. That should actually be a pretty fun match. Let's get the volume. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. So let's see here. Just adjust that slightly. Uh, better. Sit back. Tranquilo. And you know what? Very rarely for the main event, even though it's a cluster mess, we have for the number one contender for the belt of one Kenny Omega. We are going to have Chris Saban taking on Chris Bay, taking on Sammy Callahan, taking on Moose, taking on Trey Miguel. Versus Matt Cardona. Uh, I narrowed it down to two people who could actually win. Who could actually win this? Sammy Callahan makes sense, and of course, Moose makes sense. And remember, this is my match of the night. Moose. Moose. Moose is going to win. And those are my predictions for Under Siege. Again, join Senior Hobo Tom Saturday night. I think he might have to go fishing. I don't know. We'll see. Again, please join him possibly Saturday night. If not, there will be some updates throughout the week. Why does this house smell like a freaking Mexican whorehouse? Tequila and stale burritos. Oh, hello, folks. I am the one, the only. I am a hobo Tom. I'm here to talk to you about some wrestling. Also, it is Thursday night. Let's see here if I can get the sound. Yeah. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, look at that. El Delicioso. Oh, yes. A oh, nice India Pale Ale. Jaya Lee. That weird game that only the Spaniards understand. For I am the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. So I'll enjoy this. Hit my music. Such a good beer. Such good music. So I'm here to talk about a little backlash, folks. And I can't believe it, but this shirt's getting beat up a little bit. There's a rip in the scene. This shirt has to be fixed. It's one of my favorite shirts. It's a Macho Man shirt. Macho Man shirts are the best shirts. Um, but I'm here to talk about some backlash predictions. That's happening this Sunday. Now, even though I do have to work Sunday night, I think it's 5 to 8 o'clock. I'll probably get back 8.30. Even though I think some of these matches are going to be a long... One of, one of two things are going to happen at Backlash. Either the matches are going to be really long and it'll be 10, 10.30ish. Well, actually, three things going to happen. Or these matches are going to be absolute garbage and it's going to be over at 10. Or they're just going to drag this night out forever. It's going to be over at 11. So I still should see at least a good solid hour and a half. I'll catch some recaps online. But let's have some backlash predictions. I think the opening match, and I don't know if it's going to be on the pre-show or what. Um, and remember, it's a card subject to change. So as a bonus... They're somehow going to get Apollo Crews and, and the, and, and the, wait, which belt is that? Oh, wow. So he has the, oh, Intercontinental belt involved somehow. Also, also to go along with that bonus, somehow the U.S. belt's going to get involved. Who knows what Sheamus is going to do, if he's even there. Who knows at this point? Because there's only one, two, three, four, only six matches. So you put that on, that's that's eight, and that should take us to about 10.30ish. That's my prediction. So that's going to be a little bonus, but then we'll probably start off the show um, with the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Dirty Dogs of Robert Roode. And Dolph Ziggler taking on Ray and Dominic Mysterio. I'm trying to think. The Usos are such... You know what? Because the Usos figure into this somehow. Could be at SummerSlam. They're a good heel group. For them to have a good match, they have to have a face group. So therefore, what's a who's a bigger face... Even though he's short in stature than Rey Mysterio, Rey and Dominic are going to win those belts. And then let's see here. We're going to have... I'm trying to figure out the card order. It's not that simple. Probably The Miz versus Damian Priest. You know what? That's a lumberjack match. The Miz always is terrible in these. Damian Priest is going to win. I'm not going to care. I'll sober up during this match. This is going to be my snooze. The match that you can snooze through. Or, if you want to, you just have a whole beer for that match. Then the next match, I will probably... Just based on star power, it'll probably be, if that makes sense, Asuka versus Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair. I think they're going to do something stupid. There is, well, there is one. They're going to put the belt on Charlotte somehow. Charlotte wins.
And now I don't know what's going to be the main event. So I'll just pencil this one in, although they might switch this which would, with what would be my main event. Roman Reigns versus Cesaro. This is my stone cold lock. The one that you could actually go to the liquor store with. Roman Reigns is going to win. He's going to retain his belt. That's my stone cold lock. Then we're going to have Bianca Belair versus Bailey. I honestly don't know. This is going to be a weird. I almost want to say this is my snooze match. This match is going to go one of two ways. It's either going to be really good or it's going to be really awkward. I don't know which is which. Bianca just won the belt. It doesn't... F but Bailey chasing the belt doesn't... F doesn't feel right. It feels better if Bianca's chasing. Bailey... Somehow wins that belt back. And then in the main event, which is, wow, going to be my match of the night. Very rarely are main events match of the night for some reason, especially when I start picking stuff. It's going to be Drew McIntyre taking on Bobby Lashley, taking on Braun Strowman. You know what? Bobby Lashley's keeping that belt. Bobby Lashley's not dropping that belt until SummerSlam. The only reason I say that is because SummerSlam, they're going to have a live audience. Drew McIntyre winning that belt, I think they tested that a little bit at WrestleMania. So I think they're going to keep that belt until SummerSlam, which is sometime in August. I've heard dates, it's either the first weekend in August. Traditionally, it tends to be like the third, the third um, Sunday in August, more towards the end. The latter half of August. Who knows? We'll see. So Bobby Lashley's going to retain his belt in my... Let's get the sound effects ready. Match of the night. That was actually kind of cool sounding. So again, those are my predictions. For WWE Backlash, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, I should be able to watch that. Oh, yeah, a little news update. Mother Nature's not cooperating with me. I won't be able to go fishing. Or at least if I do go fishing, it's not going to be 30 miles offshore. It's going to be off a bridge. So I'm not going to be... I don't know if I'm going fishing or not. There's still other things that I may or may not do. We'll see. So I... Unless, like, the weather changes, Florida, really soon, I probably will be covering all of Impact Under Siege. Oh, you know, that, 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 Vagabund, that Bell Vagabundo was here. That's why this place smells like a Mexican whorehouse. Damn it. But yeah, um, so I'll probably be covering that again unless something radical happens, unless something really big changes. And then I'm going to cover as much as I can of WWE Backlash. Though I figured out how to listen to it in the truck. So I'm a little bit ahead of the game there. Other than that, again, enjoy the Beer Ration Thursday. Now remember, if you are going to have a delicious Jai Ai Pale Ale from the Cigar City Brewing Place, do not drink and drive. Very bad. Cops will get you, they will tase you, and beat you with billy clubs. So again, do not drink and drive. I'm going to go to bed soon anyway, so it doesn't matter. Again, be responsible, folks. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys, well, I guess Saturday. Bye!